What's up everybody? Welcome to Chaos Entertainment. We are in Boring, Oregon, which is not really a boring town because it has one really cool place, the North American Bigfoot Center. We are on the Highway 26, not that far from Gresham, Oregon itself. So we're going to go in here and check out this uh, cool museum founded by Cliff Backerman, who you know is, yeah, that guy. Okay, so we are entering the Bigfoot exhibit. So far, it's pretty cool. Now, Sasquatch itself has a huge history of legends all over America. I mean, there's like over 300 names for the creature itself, all of them. I mean, you can look right here at this map, all the different areas where they've been known to go and see. This one is Murphy. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the size and build that you would see of them. Although the ones I've seen, the noses uh, are a little bit more flat like a, a gorilla's. And their faces are like solid black. Although the ones I've seen that are about this tall were a little bit thicker. Now the largest one I've seen was as big as this uh, camouflage bushing right there. So it's pretty crazy. So let's go check out some of this other stuff. <coughs> oh yeah, the history of the fake footprints. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why so many people, you know, don't really believe them because of the 1950s. There's so many hoaxers that came out of the woodwork just trying to make a buck or trying to get 15 minutes of fame. So it's really hard for those people who actually went out and got them and looked at them and found them to actually get any credit for it because there was so many people. And then you also have the news that would constantly make fun of things. And it's just like, when did the news ever really get anything right? Out here is some hand prints. You can see they're actually a lot larger <laughs> than mine. This one's probably an easy 12 footer. Most of them, uh, when you see the footprints, uh, they're pretty much going to be roughly the same thing. They're a lot like humanoid footprints. Uh, if you ever see one where the thumb is splayed out over here, that would actually be like a gorilla print, not an actual Sasquatch print, because of the Sasquatch is mainly bipedal, whereas primate's foot, uh, gorilla's foot or thumb is out here, so it can grab stuff better. So this one was from National Forest of uh, Mount Hood, number 2021. This one was 2022, same area. Okay, now this is an interesting thing of a timber company employee finding a Bigfoot nest. Now when you see the trees and stuff, there's like three or four trees standing together. Those are not Bigfoot homes. Okay, they're basically gorillas, and what they're going to do is lay down matting so they can lay on it. Now, a lot of times they will go under trees to lay down, like if you see over here, you know, and I've seen that many a time where they're going to rip out young pine branches that have the soft nettles and lay them in a big mat and then lay down on them. And one of the sightings I had of a nesting had uh, four individuals and two of them were young ones. Okay, here is one of the greatest footages of Sasquatch was Paul Freeman. Okay, he uh, was in 1982 walking along and then he noticed that this one Sasquatch had been paralleling him and following him. But he's not being hostile. Okay, he was actually being uh, cautious and wondering what he was doing, where he was, or why he was there. And because if he was hostile, he would have totally like just charged at him and bashed him to bits or whatever, or 
whipped a rock right at his head. You know, a lot of times when they're chucking rocks or branches, they're just trying to scare you to get the hell out of there. Let's see if uh, they actually hold the footage part really quickly. It should be like right there. See them? This one is roughly about uh, 10 feet tall. I know his camera's shaky, but when you're terrified, it's kind of hard to hold your cameras really still. See look how big that guy is. Now that's a full size male. I mean, the ones I've seen that were around 12 feet tall were like this really just huge, girthy creatures. They didn't have streamlined abs and six point abs like, you know, you see these drawings of them. These guys were huge and girthy, a lot like a gorilla. Okay, most people, this is the most iconic footage of a Sasquatch picture or video. This one is a Patterson Gimlin film, and they call her Patty. It's a female Sasquatch. And this is the man, Mr. Gimlin, who was one of the guys with Roger Patterson who shot the footage for this creature. They were coming along looking at the Native American legends of the area. And this creature was walking along, scared the crap out of their horses, almost dropped them on their butts, and then it started just cruising along. Now, there's been so much speculations on this footage alone. Uh, people saying like there was a baby right in the front, uh, it's a dude in a suit. There's been so many people that claim that they have the guy, they have the suit, but when you look at the suit, it wasn't even close. Okay, so, and here is some of the branches, some of the footprints from their area that they were taking pictures of. Oh, a <laughs> little Charlie Sasquatch. Yeah, it's kind of like the size of the little ones. The smallest one I ever saw was about that size. Okay, okay here is a Gigantosopithecus skull. The teeth was all they actually found. Here is a mountain gorillas. And a mountain gorilla is roughly about five feet tall when they actually stand up, but they're really big. Then you got the human skulls right here. You have uh, the Homo florensis, which is what they called the Hobbit, which was only a human being about this big. Okay. Then you have Nutcracker Man, which was Paranthropus boisei. Okay. Here is Puma Prince, Bear Prince, and Elk Prince, just so you can see that. Uh, now, some people, when they see a bear print because they overlap their feet, they may think it's a Sasquatch print because they're so huge. But if they look closely, they'll actually see little uh, nail indentions on the back side of the foot, like midway through. Ready? Okay, now this is some of the uh, people that were in one of the most uh, infamous Sasquatch sightings probably in the history of mankind. And this is the Ape Canyon incident. Now, it's basically a bunch of miners up in a cabin. As you can see, the thickness of the walls. I mean, these guys built a gigantic log cabin to, you know, stay up there on Mount St. Helens. Uh, I think it was like 1913 or 14, right? Now, these guys basically were mining, and they see a Sasquatch at the edge of a cliff, and one of them shoot it. Okay. And it fell off the cliff, which kind of pissed the other Sasquatches off. Okay, so what happened basically that night when these guys got back to their cabin, uh, the Sasquatches, since they're a family unit, attacked the cabin. They were throwing rocks like bowling ball sized barrel or bowling ball sized rocks hitting the actual size of the cabin, you know, trying to get into the cabin to hurt these guys. Now the guys right here were some of the dudes uh, actually shooting at the Sasquatches. I mean, the, the fight ranged all night long. And once the fight was done, the morning came, the guys basically got up and ran off, you know, and left the area. Now the bad thing is, Okay, so the whole area was devastated when Mount St. Helens in 1980 blew its top and basically took out the whole canyon itself. 
Okay, so when you come up here to the North American Bigfoot Center, make sure you take a look at all their cool merchandise. Because it's really neat stuff. They got things for kids, for adults, for your friends. Okay, so that is a cool, really cool, amazing little museum. Uh, you're definitely going to want to check it out. It is really fun, very entertaining. Uh, they actually have a TV room. I didn't actually show you guys in the video, but it's literally, you know, the Finding Bigfoot videos and stuff like that from the show. And also, make sure when you do, tell them Chaos Entertainment sent you and get yourself some t-shirts or other memorabilia because this is the one memory that you guys are going to want to share with all your friends and family. And say hi to Murphy. <laughs> Thank you.